Howdy, howdy. Let's get rowdy. You know who it is. You know who it be. It's been ten fucking years and I'm finally back. So, what's going on? I just wanted to talk about a simple topic. And that is, uh... 3 a.m. challenge... 3 a.m. challenges? Yeah, I think I said that right. And the fact you can't fucking die right on this website. In, in other words, <laughs> just fucking go. Now you might be wondering, hey, why do you got a problem with 3 a.m. challenges? They're not that bad. They're, they, they're a little on the easy side. The easy side flipped over. You know, sunny side up. Fuck no, they ain't. Fuck no, they ain't. So, uh, 3 a.m. challenges are when people do s regular things at 3 a.m. Guys, look, I'm drinking water at 3 a.m. Guys, oh my god, it's so spooky. Oh, can we get a, a like and a subscribe in the comments? Tell me what you think of the video. Tell me what you think. It's fucking stupid at this point. And it gets to the point of being repetitive. Now, allow me to throw you an example, and that is... Morg's 3 a.m. challenges. Mum just got back from a walk with Bruno. I'm gonna go down and surprise her. I have like three different questions going to ask at the same time. One, why are you shirtless? Two, uh, what are you going to surprise her with? You're her son. She should not be surprised that you are home. It's... Did you tell her you were going somewhere? <laughs> what the fuck? There she is, the mum. Before is lava at 3 a.m. Game on. This is fucking retarded. So, I'm gonna say the jump between Morgs being ass naked and them actually going to the mall, it's 12 minutes! Why can't they get the fucking video on? It's 27 minutes. 27 minutes! Close. I could be wrong. I, I'm kind of lazy. But, it's like... Why not just get right into it? Let me just rack in that fucking mid-roll ads. Let me just... Yeah, I gotta pump in 10 minutes, 13 minutes, 14 minutes, 28 minutes. Like, what the fuck? Shut the fuck up. It, it, it's just boring shit. I, I don't remotely know who it is who actually does watch these videos. Uh, I, I couldn't fucking tell you. But on to the next subject. You, uh, hey, are you a small YouTuber? Hey, fuck it. Are you, uh, are you an icon on YouTube? Do you happen to have some popularity on you? Well, guess what? You cannot die correctly on YouTube. And you know why? Because motherfuckers will make 3 a.m. challenges about you. Motherfuckers. That's what it is. That's what it is. And I, I actually have a serious side of this, and that is... Why? Why? It's- there's no need- So, Etika passed away. We all know this. And, uh, I'm not going to- I'm not going to try to be like, Oh, he was such a great guy. I knew- I personally didn't really know him that much. He was pretty cool, I guess. I watched a little bit of his content. He was funny. I- I thought he was cool. And he passed away due to suicide, and that's terrible. I don't think anybody should have to go through shit like that. And guess who the fucking first is to make a video about it? It's motherfucking J Station. And you know what? The video is not even about Etika. He doesn't do the Ujo board. He doesn't do that shit. Instead, he complains about, oh, well, I almost died, and, you know, I just thought, when I'm gone, people gonna fucking make... 3 a.m. videos about me. Ah, uh, fucking, oh my god. So he clickbaits Etika's name. Or the way his entire channel's fucking clickbait. What's up, guys? I just got back from the middle of nowhere in an insane asylum. What the fuck happened to this guy? He's got like a full black eye. What is he talking? I just got out of an insane asylum, but guys, what's poppin'? Why is it every one of these YouTubers feel the need to just throw in, guys, what's up? Guys, how's it going? Guys! And they just use the simplest fucking lingo. Like, everyone who watches it is fucking children. This is the... It's the stupidest shit ever! I don't know how to put it! I'm ready to die, bro. I feel like I'm gonna get murdered, bro. You know what that feels like? And then people are saying online that that shit is fake, my dude. 
Bro, you can't tell the difference between my regular video and this shit. I don't want people to make YouTube videos about me. Okay, if I was, I literally, I thought I was about to die. And in my brain, I thought about, man, are people going to think this is a joke? Are they going to, what are they going to do, man? I thought I was legit about to die. And I'm like, man, they better not do no freaking Ouija board about me, bruh. And you know what? There it is. There it is. He doesn't give a shit. It's not, a, he's not doing a Ouija board challenge. He's not. And you won't see that. Because he never does it. Instead, he talks about how, guys, I'm not going to do this because if I do this, it'll be a big track record for me, alright? And if I happen to do this, uh, you know, people will actually make fun of me for it. And they'll say, oh, wow, this guy's human scum. I, I'm going to, when he dies, I'm going to make a Ouija board video about him. And he doesn't like that, even though he did it to Mac Miller. He, he did a full Ouija board challenge on Mac Miller. But you know what, guys? It's A-okay. He put R.I.P. in the title. It's A-okay. It's A-okay. And he he's, like, so sincere with how he's... I was about to die, guys. And the one thing that went through my head... Are they gonna make a 3 a.m. challenge on me? Shut the fuck up. Nobody cares. The, the one thing they do care about, though, is the fact you clickbaited a... YouTuber's name, a dead YouTuber who committed suicide, who was loved by many, and basically shitting on his name. Guys, Ouija board challenge, 3 a.m. Let me just slap Etika in the title. Yeah, okay, that's not going to get the views up, though. 3 a.m. Yep, there we go. There we go. All right, what else can I throw in there to get those views up? What else? Come on, I got to get something. That's it. Ujo board. Ujo board. 3 a.m. Etika. Perfect. I'll get... Millions of dislikes on this video. Can't fucking wait. The video uh, is since taken down. You can get it from the uh, re-uploaded content. I don't get it. I don't get it. Why do these people exist? I don't know. But they are leeches on the internet. And I'm, I'm, a, uh, I'm a fucking fish type creature. I know what leeches are. These guys are leeches. They're fucking leeches. And it's sad. Because one day... One day, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a bit of an audience, and then I'm gonna pass away. Whether it's unexpected or natural. And you know what's gonna happen? Oi guys, it's Morgs here. Back for a 3am challenge video. We are gonna be contacting some weird place gaming on the Ouija board. Eh, you know what it is. R.I.P. my man. Some weird pace, right? Can we throw a one like in the comment equals one rest in peace for some pace? Comment in the section, rest in peace. Subscribe for rest in peace. You know who it is. I suck me mummy's cock. I, I can't, I can't, I don't know what to say. It's just I fucking hate these guys. And it's not even because, uh, it's not even because they're like, their personality. Some of these people have decent personalities, and I can respect it. Like J Station, he's kind of got an upbeat vibe. He's kind of like, if if he just didn't do 3 a.m. challenge videos, and he wasn't a piece of shit, maybe I'd like him. Morgs, he's an energetic, youthful boy, and he could make good content. Instead, he makes clickbait motherfucking 3 a.m. challenges. Look, guys. We did it at a slightly dark hour, so uh, it's obviously, obviously haunted. We're gonna see ghosts. We're gonna see fucking vampires. We're gonna see my mother's fucking comedy. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry for not uploading recently. Damn, bro, I got busy. I got the whole squad laughing. Ah, oh, I'll be honest. YouTube's monetization fucking sucks. It fucking sucks, and. Unfortunately, I now have to embrace said monetization because I am now reaching a slight of a black hole. But you know what? I'm I'm not going to fight it. I'm not going to fight it. You know what I am going to do, though? Doesn't matter. I'm going to fucking not change because YouTube's a bitch-ass motherfucker. And you know what? Instead of complying to their rules, okay, I'm going to instead use Frick. I'm no longer going to swear in my videos. Nah, fuck that. Fuck that. It it doesn't matter. Susan can suck my cock. Uh, 
I'm going to, no matter what, you know, swear, I'm going to be a fucking degenerate all I want. Susan's not changing that shit. And I'm not going to let her change because you love it. You guys love it. And if Susan doesn't like it, she can suck my cock. So I'll run monetizations on the channel for a bit. Once I'm at a steady part, I'm, I might stop. I am sorry for the uh, ads that may have popped up. Uh, you know, if you like the content, you know what to do. Whatever, who gives a fuck? Anyways, you know who it was. You know who it is. Don't shoot the fucking water, you bitches.